What is up everybody? Today we are out on the river. We're gonna fight through a nor'easter and we're gonna catch some fish, but. All right, so we just loaded up the sabiki rig with frozen bloodworms. Um, unfortunately, we do not have any fresh ones, but first cast of the day. All right, we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, so just casted them out. Uh, we got our catfish rod to the left our perch rod to the right um not the most ideal conditions the wind is absolutely brutal today and <clears throat> with the wind chill feels like it's in the 20s but uh you know we just got this new rod and i really wanted to test it out um you know if you're like me and you only have so much time to get out fishing you know you got to go when you can go and it doesn't matter if it's windy or raining or snowing you just got to kind of roll with the punches but stay tuned we're going to keep an eye out on the rods and see if anything hits now the only thing that i want to say other than the wind that's really going against us is it is a flood tide today i mean it's literally uh just tons of water um all that snow that we got the other day melted and we got a ton of rain from this nor'easter that's still currently here but uh we're not going to let it slow us down. The crazy thing is uh, high tide's not for another three hours. And, you know, this is the highest I've ever seen it, you know, in general. So I, I'm assuming it's going to go pretty far up the meadows here. All right, so we had to move a little bit upriver from where we were. Um, wind was just absolutely brutal when it's right in your face like that. And <clears throat> we didn't get any hits for about 20 minutes, so figure why not try somewhere else you know it can't get any worse so right now just getting the catfish rod ready i'm gonna pitch that sucker out to the left i'm gonna let that sit uh and we got our perch rod to our right let's sit this down a little bit of a change of pace fishing on a, a dock opposed to you know fishing on a on the meadow but We'll see if uh, it makes a difference, so stay tuned. Got both lines in the water and we'll see what's happening. Ah, oh, getting a hit, but does not want to commit, man. It's like the finick, most finicky hit you've ever had. Ah, oh, got him. Let's go. First fish on this fish eagle, it's not very big, but boy, was it a grind to get this guy. Oh, son, it's a nice jumbo. Now nah, we won't call him a jumbo, but it's a white perch, baby. No skunk today, boys and girls. I'll tell you what, man, I was starting to hold out or lose hope on, you know, catching a fish today. And I wasn't trying to get skunked for the first time in 2021, but this little perch uh, saved us from the skunk, but we're gonna let him go now. All right, man, we're gonna pitch this bad boy back out, see if we can't get more than one fish. I'm about to reel in the catfish rod and put another perch rig out since the catfish rod has not been even touched since we've gotten here. Um, getting another hit on the speaky rig. And just hold on to it until it comes back. It's funny, man. I, I'm noticing that this pattern today with the hits. They're just they'll go one, two, like packing at it, and then they'll let it sit, and then you know maybe a minute to thirty seconds later they'll come back and you know try and keep eating but the key is you know having the rod in your hand because if you just try and set it from lifting it straight off of you know the rod holder or whatever's holding your rod up um unless they're completely got it and the rods you know keeled over typically if you try and do that lift and set it usually is a swing and a miss at least in my opinion so i like to just grab the rod reel in a slack and then wait for that next set of you know bites and that's when try and set getting a hit oh fish on let's go dude this one was right at the end of this dock son look at that man i'm getting bigger 
They're getting bigger, man. Can't beat that. Can't beat that with a stick, man. All right. I'll tell you what, man. These white perch are freaking beautiful. I love the color under their chin, man. They got that purple hue. I'll tell you, they might be... These, for years, have been my favorite winter species. But crappie have starting to slowly take over. But after catching a few of these, man, you remember why you love them so much. Getting that hit again. It's a weird, funky hit, man. It's like, I don't know if it's a small perch or what. But every time it pulls it, it's pulling the weight closer to me. So I have to reel in the slack. I don't know what the heck. Like I said, when the water temp drops, man, the fish bite gets a little finicky. I mean, they're still feeding, as you can see, but it's just a weird, weird hit. It's not like the... Got him. Got him. Let's go. Had to wait for that thump. Had to wait for that bigger thump. Now, this feels different. Ah, uh, that's why. Dude, look at this guy. That's a jumbo, baby. That's a freaking jumbo if I've ever seen one. Look at that beautiful specimen, man. Love this wintertime perch fishing, man. Can't beat it. Look at that beautiful fish. Now we're gonna put some fresh frozen blowworms on this bottom hook. Um, one of the keys of perch fishing, man, is I, I've been doing this my whole life. There's not a single fishery that I'm more confident in, honestly, than white perch. And uh, the reason is, you know, they're a semi-andronomous fish, which means they, they migrate up and down the river. Um, you know, the nice thing is, you know, they're never gone. You know how, like, the only way I could compare it to, you know, a migratory fish would be like a flounder flounder come in in the bays in the springtime and then they move out right before winter time um you know that winter time when they leave you know they're not there which you know it sucks you gotta wait but beauty of perch man they never leave they just move up and down now one of the biggest factors i find especially to track these fish in the winter time is figuring out the correct depth if you can figure out what depth they're sitting at you'll find the fish and a lot of the depth has to do with water temperatures um, especially when you get these you know sub zero or sub freezing you know days where the weather's below 32 and the water temp's starting to slowly drop into the 30s you know these fish oop, we're gonna hit the fish move into the deeper holes where you know the water's a little bit warmer they also tend to hang closer to the bottom where the warmer water is. Um, now, on the other side of that, there are times where you get a warm winter day and these fish will go out on the flats during the, like a lower tide where that shallow water heats up a lot quicker than, let's say, the deeper water that you know they're typically in. But these fish do move, man. I'm telling you, I I've had days where I go out and, you know, slam in one spot you go the next day and can't even buy a bite so you know you got to remember these fish do have tails and they do have stomachs so they're looking for that food and uh this time of year they're primarily feeding on like little minnows grass shrimp um but today we only have uh worms to use Ooh. oh man we were just getting a nice hit hopefully hopefully it comes right back Got him, got him, baby. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Feels like a decent sized perch. If it's if it's one, it's gonna be a nice one. Now, if it's multiple ones, it's gonna be a little bit disheartening. But man, oh, it's a striper. Oh, look at that, man. That is a striper with a freaking diaper, man. Look at that. Uh, I had my hopes up, man. I thought this was going to be a nice perch. That would be a beautiful perch, man, if we got one that big. But it's just a baby striper. Not a bad uh, 
you know, looking fish, very healthy looking. Love the colors on these guys, man. It's probably only about, you know, 14 inches, if that, maybe 13. Now these guys are out of season. Uh, in fact, you're not even allowed to target them uh, until March 1st in New Jersey. So what we're gonna do is get him back in the water as quick as possible. Yeah, man, I don't wanna uh, be that guy, but you know, in the state of New Jersey, you're not even supposed to target them. So anytime we catch one, you know, we try and get them off the hook and back in the water, um, you know follow the law but hey not bad man species number two for the day not bad you know not a bad day so far for nor'easter conditions getting a hit on the sabiki rig though seems to have kind of moved on sometimes man there's no rhyme or reason they'll hit it a few times and then You'd be sitting there for another 30 minutes hoping that they come back and then, you know, they don't come back or you wait a few seconds, 30, 45, and then you get another hit. But, you know, the winter bites is about as finicky as it gets. Um, but I'm just happy they're biting at all, man. When, you know, you can't feel your hands and your face is freezing. You know, it's a little bit, you, you really don't realize how cold it is when you're catching fish. When you're not catching fish, man, that's all you think about is, man, it's cold out. What am I doing? Getting a hit on the sabiki rig again. It's weird, man. You get one solid hit and then it's gone. But I guess it's just how the winter bite goes. Got him, got him, baby. Oh, son, let's go. That one wasn't getting away. Feels a little bit bigger. Damn, son, oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this guy. Look at this freaking, oh my freaking God. Look at this jumbo. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this guy. I can legitimately hold this guy with two hands. That's Perchzilla, baby. Look at this freaking hoss of a perch. I mean, absolute jumbo. Oh my God. That That's, that's the way to finish a trip, man. That, I'll tell you what, that just made my freaking day. Look at this, I, I can't believe how big this perch is, man. That's easily a 12, 13 incher, but we're gonna let him go. Let him grow, right? Off he goes. All right, guys, unfortunately we ran out of time. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, click that subscribe button down below. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Have a great day, I'll see you guys soon.